Aquarius. This is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 10th through December the 16th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for December the 10th through December the 16th, 2023. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for December the 10th through December the 16th, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aquarius for December the 10th through December the 16th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner. So, Aquarius, your partner has the Knight of Swords. Your partner has the Four of Pentacles. Your partner has the Nine of Cups. Your partner has the High Priestess. And your partner has the Six of Swords. So, Aquarius, your partner has the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking their truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Aquarius, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're independently abundant on their own or they're single. Now your partner could be confronting someone saying, it's about to have my money. Or your partner saying, you know what, there's a confrontation taking place here and they're becoming single. Or they don't want to be single, so they're here to set the record straight. Aquarius, your partner has the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner holding back, holding off, keeping something close to their chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher. Someone who's holding back their coin, saving their money, being stingy. Someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Your partner could tell me that they're holding on to their coins, saving their money, being stingy, or they're keeping something close to their chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aquarius's partner. Four of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling stuck, like they're in a self-imposed prison of their thoughts. This is your partner feeling like they can't move, but they can move because it's all mental. This is them refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is your partner feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're feeling stuck in a situation or there's block communication. Now, something could be going on with your partner's coins and they're feeling stuck here. And this is the reason for the confrontation happening. However, your partner could tell me that they're closed off, blocked off, maybe even blocking communication and becoming single. Aquarius, your partner has 
the nine of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is wish fulfillment but this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse so aquarius listen your partner could tell me that they're getting their wish could be feeling smug here or overindulging trying to numb out clarify the nine of cups for aquarius's partner clarify the nine of cups for aquarius's partner Clarify the Nine of Cups for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Swords again. So some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the Two of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we see eye to eye, face to face. We are spiritually connected. We are one. We are meant to be. We are soulmates. Soulmates with a divine union, a divine connection. So Aquarius, listen, very well could be dealing with your soulmate here. But this can also be in an agreement. Now, listen, your partner could tell me that, you know what, this is bothering them. They're overindulging, trying to numb out because there's a confrontation concerning some type of agreement with their coins here. Your partner could also tell me that, you know, it's their wish to come in and set the record straight here because they realize you are their soulmate. Or your partner is saying, you know what, there's a confrontation taking place. They're closed off. They're not answering any questions and they could be feeling smug about the situation. Aquarius, your partner has the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition, but they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys aren't speaking. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition or they have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius's partner. Clarify the high priestess for Aquarius's partner. It is clarified with the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aquarius, listen, your partner's all up in the head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Aquarius, they could be bothered because you guys aren't speaking to one another. I feel like it's their own fault. Aquarius, listen. <laughs> Your partner could tell me that they're all up in their head stressing about a situation, trying to use their intuition concerning it, or these secrets of theirs are eating them up here, okay? Something that they kept close to their chest, something that you may be confronting them concerning. Aquarius, your partner has the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, your partner is wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is your partner saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're physically moving or traveling. Your partner could tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones, skipping through the lilies. Well, your partner's saying they just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the Six of Swords for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their charts. 
However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with and do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius' partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense. But this can also speak to your partner being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So Aquarius, listen, your partner could tell me that they're standoff and shunning and setting boundaries with you. Or they're trying to come in and explain, give the explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now, Aquarius very well could have some type of commitment or stability with this person. And your partner is saying, you know what, I'm done. I just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. They may be confronting you, then blocking you. You know, they're all up in the head trying to figure out what to do, but they're stressed. Aquarius, your partner could tell me that you guys have some type of commitment or stability and they don't want to be single. They're coming and trying to set the record straight and salvage you guys a soulmate connection. They're coming and trying to explain, give that explanation, excuse or defense so that you guys can put it behind you and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones, skipping through the lilies. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for your partner. And so it says, just being near you is intoxicating. <laughs> just being near you is intoxicating. I bet it is. I bet it is. Got to hold on. Baby, hold on to me. Because I'm a special kind. It's so hard to find. Baby, hold on to me. Say what? I wish I had treated you better. I wish I had treated you better. Just being near you is intoxicating. I have some explaining to do. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aquarius, this is a peek at your partner for the week of December the 10th through December the 16th, 2023. You guys give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at herimmortalmaj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.